Okay, so I, we're going to draw a, a beetle here. So what we would do is you'd start out with a straight line, and then you would go up like that. So this is one of the drawings the kids do. And, you know, you can just see, you know, we have them draw this, then that, then maybe two straight lines coming down like that. And then come down, around, and up. This is a little bit later in the year. So the more you draw with children, the faster they get at following directions. So, so with this color, um, what we would do is take out a dandelion yellow and just really lightly color it in here very very softly and then you push down really super hard here hard medium soft okay okay so then we'll do another stripe like that and like that and I, I took a color called forest green and I'm going to push down hard here, and then medium, and then soft. So we get the sort of gradation. So the kids get really good at this. And we learn about beetles that they are m major decomposers, which means they eat dead matter, so they'll eat dead plants or dead animals or dung. So they, it's true that if we didn't have beetles, we would have a lot of sort of dead material all over the planet Earth um, without beetles. So we, they're, they're just great at cleaning up things. And the, the Egyptians actually worshipped them because they turned the dung from the camels into soil. So beetles, they, they also breathe through their skin. They don't have gills like fish or lungs like us. So they, they have that sort of breathing system. And so here we have the body of our beetle. I'm going to push down really softly here and get a nice light green. And maybe I'll take this color, which is called uh, green yellow, and put it all over the whole thing. Might look kind of nice. Make everything kind of go together a little bit. The skeleton of the beetle is on the outside. Not like us, because our skeleton's on the inside. And there's three, two little circles there. Then we're going to do a half a circle right above it, and then a line like that, and a line like that, and then two straight lines like that, and then they go like this, up, around, and down. And so then we're going to have one curve. And then another curve. A lot of drawing with the beetle is kind of cool because there's a lot of symmetry. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. So we draw one set of legs and I'm just going to throw some antennas on there because beetles, they all have antennas. And then we're going to have another set that maybe start there and go down. Just 
same sort of system. These three. And so we draw a couple of beetles in the kindergarten program and learn how interesting they are. Um, fireflies are beetles. They're not flies. Their beetles are everywhere on the planet Earth except for the oceans. So beetles are everywhere on the planet Earth except the oceans and the Arctic, you know, the really cold areas of the world. And what else is interesting about beetles? Um, they have hairs on their legs that detect sound and odors. So, so beetles. So beetles are really, really interesting. So the way we teach, after we do a drawing in the program, then we do beautiful handwriting and we label things. And there's a a really strong emphasis on handwriting and especially midline. Okay, so so I just thought I would maybe put a box around this little beetle here just to show you a little bit more about what we do. Um, for instance, we would take, you know, we would learn a color and color something in really, really softly. Color it once, color it twice, get the edges, freestyle. And then we mix colors. So we put colors on top of colors and invent new colors. So that's, we're always encouraging the children to, to take their crayons and start to mix them just like a, a painter would do. We teach them how to color really well, really softly, and then like we can turn that beautiful blue into a beautiful green. And we get the children that always push down soft to push down hard and get some bold colors. And then we also teach children to um, the other children that want to push down really hard to lighten up. Um, another thing we do is we do a lot of work with patterning because uh, there's a lot of patterns in, in nature and in the world. So we might um, like say like we were going to do something with that had orange stripes to it. So we would draw the stripes like that. And then we would take a yellow and go over that stripe so that it doesn't smear. Go over the pencil so it doesn't smear. And then color the whole thing in. And we end up with a really beautiful pattern. So just, just kind of a, a sneak peek at, uh, at what we do with the enjoying the crayons and the pencil.